Good morning from Central Texas, USA. It's about 36 degrees here this morning and it ain't much warmer than that inside and that's why I have my hoodie on. Old Monk Rusty here, but it is cool here in Central Texas today. And uh, hey Google, good morning. Hey Rusty, the time is 7.28 a.m. Right now in Burnett it's 41 and clear. Today it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 80 and a low of 61. Have a good one. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be that cool. I had to get up during the night and I tested my new long johns and they're worth their weight in gold. It was nice. It was nice. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. One joke coming up. How do <laughs> robots eat guacamole? With computer chips. <laughs> not bad. Not great, but not bad. Anyway, uh, hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 13 degrees. 13? You guys are getting cold up there, boys and girls. Y'all got to stay indoors. Hey, Google. Is it snowing in Bangor, Maine? No, it's not snowing right now in Bangor. It's 13 degrees and mostly cloudy. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte, it's currently 7 degrees. <laughs> God dang, that's cold, boy. 7. Hello, 7. Anyway, guys, i got some comments here. I'll get to them. And uh, this is Rose Jane on Comment Call. It says, Hi, Rusty. Liked your video. I gave you a thumbs up. Well, thumbs up to you. Take it easy. Always take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day. I do the best I can, and you too. Rose Jane, Richard Smith, mail call. Hi, Rusty. I'm 65, retired, frugal, and worn out. <laughs> Don't sugarcoat it, Richard. <clears throat> I'd like to go to out-of-town old car shows and vintage motorcycle races where I'm the terror of the over-60 class. Not really. My rig will be a 1967 Chevrolet El Camino and Campright oversized tent cot that will fit set up in the bed. The longest trip will be four to five days with just some just long weekends. Any suggestion on minimal equipment needs? Well, for short trips, you don't need much. You know, what I would suggest is, you know, just take what you think you need and add as you go because it's not like you're going to be out in the middle of nowhere. You can go to a Walmart and pick up something if you need it. Anyway, enjoy your uh, your little camping trips. This is Paul G. Real Reality. Hey, Rusty. Cool topics. In case you forgot or did not see this depiction of Marlon Brando as a hologram in the Superman saga, is exactly what you were referring to. Very cool and I agree we are headed for this if we don't blow ourselves up first. <clears throat> We've been worried about blowing ourselves up son for 70 years and we ain't done it yet. He's got a link to something probably holograms. Anyway, thank you Paul. This is Francis Abatian, Abatangelo. Good evening Rusty. Good evening Francis. He's got a link to post the mail, whatever. Rather be fishing, future, changes. Now kids are having kids, that's true. Some high schools, that's true. Some high schools have daycare for, for the students' children. Some teachers are using yoga balls for students with mental challenges and ADHD. <clears throat> it's supposed to help them focus. Well, uh, I worry about the workforce as the kids are not informed and they have no and have no work ethic. They just play on their phones. I'm also worried because the poor are treated so differently as far as housing, health care, and in general. The poor have always been treated that way. Okay, always. That's not new. And that's going to continue. Poor people are just poor people and as long, and, and, and since they have no clout politically and that's the way it's always been. That's all over the world. <clears throat> as far as uh, no work ethic. They won't need one. They ain't going to be jobs anyway. The, what they're going to have to do is just absorb heat and spend money. Now that, that, that's uh, All this AI is going to, artificial intelligence and robotics and stuff is going to fill a big gap because uh, they not, artificial intelligence is not worried about work ethic. 
they'll work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as long as they they're taken care of. And uh, anyway, that's it. and it's just a nice, smooth transition, I guess. <clears throat> but as far as high schools having daycare, yeah, that's sad. You know, with all this birth control stuff that we have out there now, my God, you'd think that there wouldn't be any uh, unwed mothers. You know what I mean? But you know, there are. Well, you know, never underestimate the nesting instinct of a female. That childbearing desire is very, very, very strong in a female. They do want to have children, and that's natural. Vicki Woods, use Class C. Thank you for the info. Very helpful, and I would like to add as well, in some cases, putting into it might be a good thing because I tried to get approval from an RV dealer and the Anyway, says you almost need a perfect credit score. Well, he's right. To get an RV, <clears throat> any type of RV or a boat, those are kind of entertainment items, and the lending companies know that you won't pay for those if things get tough. They know that you'll pay for your car and your housing, but you're not going to pay for your boat or your RV if things get really tight, and they're going to end up with a lot of junk. So <clears throat> that's why the rates are higher, because there's a higher degree of risk. Dreaming Angels Reborn, enjoyed the ride and talk. Thank you, <clears throat> Dreaming Angels Reborn. Bill Ranking, really enjoyed this tour video. Thank you. Richard Goldman, he says, uh, he says 62, 20% more at 66. Psst. That's a five, that's a five year. The house wins. <clears throat> Take it whenever you want to. It's your, it's your choice. This is on Social Security. Alex Dolinsky. That's what I did. He took it at 62. I did too. Social Security, that is. Real reality, R. Gray, 317. Kingsland looks like a good place to live. It's a retirement area. <clears throat> There's not a whole lot to do there. I mean, if you're into fishing and water things, well, you'll probably like it. Colleen Bogardus, thank you for the Amazon link. Keep up the good work. We're well, glad you brought that up. <clears throat> thank you, Colleen. Uh, yeah, the Amazon link uh, is helping. And um, I mean, yesterday it was a dollar and twenty cents, <clears throat> but it goes up and down and up and down. But for those of you that uh, are using the Amazon link to go to Amazon and buy products, thank you very much. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I leave. A link to Amazon products in every video now and if you click on that link in the description and go to Amazon and buy anything I get a small commission and this to, yes this, today it was really small <laughs> but anyway it adds up so you know if you choose to use it fine if you don't don't worry about it but again thank you for the the Amazon link comment uh, this is slim Bob on comment called thanks for answering the comment about music Pandora when someone asks me about music taste, I tell them I like, I tell them I like the boring kind. Your channel's better than TV for sure, other than the first season of Charlie's Angels. Fellow native born Seminole, live Texas Panhandle and 23 footer. <clears throat> well, good for you. The Texas Panhandle wind never stops blowing up there, does it, Slim? <laughs> Telling you, boy, they get the windy days up there. Uh, this the name of this individual is yay yay uh, this is on the 12 volt and the 110 volt something TV my TV yeah I got a 12 volt 110 volt 19 inch TV it says you have an RV you can live anywhere that's correct yay yay you bet I can I choose to stay here in the winter though Rondlin 100 on real reality nice drive rusty thanks for the ride along liked your poetry too yeah Sit beside the breakfast table, think about your troubles, pour yourself a cup of tea and think about the bubbles. Go down by the seaside and throw them over the side to be swept up by some fishes and swallowed by a whale who grew so old he decomposed back to the basic elements. Anyway, that's in that song, I mean the movie, The Point. Scott, Scotty got, got here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in a row, Scotty. Let's go. Okay, Scotty. Cool solar talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Do you did you like the laundromat? Yeah, it's okay. It's a clean laundromat, Scotty. Uh, Scotty says cool 2017 A-liner travel trailer. Did you get that one, Rusty? No, I didn't, Scotty. I've got a 2018 
Clipper Cadet that I'm going to hang on to for a while. Scotty says, cool news, internet, cable, TV, talk, Rusty. Well, thank you, Scotty. Yeah, the, <clears throat> you know, for a while there, I, the only access I had to getting news and stuff was over the antenna. Scotty Thompson, cool, funny mail call. You make me laugh, Rusty, LOL, Rusty. Well, thank you, Scotty. I hope, I hope you enjoy the humor when there is any. Scotty, cool, funny mail call. You let me laugh all the time. Well, that's great, Scotty. I'm, I, I'm glad you're enjoying your life. Thank you for your comments. This is Lee Ben. He's got two in a row on mail call, and that's the last two. It says, enjoy a Christmas show. Gee, I wonder if you ever seen that show. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mickey Mouse show. I wore my Roy Rogers cap pressed the button on the gun, came out of the hat over the goofy Mickey Mouse ears. LOL. I don't know what kind of hat he had, but he had a goofy hat, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that was a big deal. You know, that just, it, but you know, they had, you know, there was like Howdy Doody and Mickey Mouse, and they had one that uh, you uh, tried to, you had to, never mind. Lee Ben, he left a link to something, some kind of YouTube channel. And I'll check it out in a minute. But anyway, for all you guys that uh, <clears throat> have are into tech, uh, you're gonna love this. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7:40 a.m. Alexa, volume level eight. Alexa, tell me a joke. What kind of socks does a pirate wear? Arg, Kyle. Anyway, uh, I got me a, a, a Amazon Dot for twenty nine dollars. I'll do a video about it later, and kind of tell you more about it. But it's the Dot, the little bitty thing that just looks like what's. They always say it looks like a hockey puck, but I've never seen a hockey puck, so I can't really say much about that. But yeah, I did get one. The reason I got it was uh, I'm going to use it to listen to. Uh, audio books because uh, Google doesn't do that very well yet and uh, <clears throat> Amazon's got some freebies on that and I'm an Amazon Prime member and so they had the dot on sale for $29 and I have I have some what they call customer credits and you can only use them for Amazon products the customer credit so I use my customer credits of about $30 and and got uh, the Amazon dot and got it working yesterday. Yeah, it's okay. I listen to right now the book that, that I'm reading or they're reading to me or Alexa's reading to me is uh, 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 Tom Sawyer. And, uh, you know, for those of you that don't uh, uh, r read the old children's books, I do. I go back and reread them. Uh, and the reason is there's just so much in there. You know, I mean, you, you know, like the old book, The Sea Wolf. I mean, that was just, that's just great entertainment. And I know there's supposedly children's books, but but I uh, I like them. And uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it's just entertainment for me. And and, and every, every now and then, when I don't want to read to myself, I can say, "What's your name?" and read me a book, and they'll start right where I left off. And that's the way that goes. So that's why I got the thirty dollar dot. So the speaker on it's not very good. It's okay. It's not near as good as the tall one they have, the Echo. But uh, the the uh, and, but the, the Google Home has is, has a good speaker, and I listen to Pandora on it primarily, and I do my list and all that stuff on the Google Home device. But anyway, that doesn't have anything to do with comment call, does it? But anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. This might make you laugh. Why does Waldo wear a striped shirt? Well, he sure doesn't want to be spotted. Uh, I miss that one. But anyway, having missed that joke, it's cool outside, but the sun's coming up, and it's supposed to be 80, so you know it's got to warm up quick, because it's 36, and it's, it's got to come up 44 degrees, is that right? Yeah, that's right, 44, and uh, that's going to come up real quick. So uh, what else we got? Hey, hey Google, what's the uh, temperature in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia? The temperature in Ulaanbaatar right now is minus 5. Minus 5? Ow! <laughs> and I was there. Oh, I know what it's like. Anyway, having said that, from Central Texas, USA, guys, y'all have a great day. Christmas is coming in about three, four, five days, whatever. And I uh, hope the weather's nice where you are. And uh, stay warm. Keep your health. And what else? 
thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, bye whatever you want, anytime you want. But if you think about it, use the link to the Amazon products in the description of my videos because the Am or excuse me, the YouTube sensor police got three more of them yesterday. Whenever they uh, de well demonetize them, th that means those videos basically make zero, okay? Because they won't re they won't monetize them until they've had a thousand views, and not many of my videos get over a thousand views. So having said that. From Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying, enjoy your day, guys. You're in charge of it. Stand guard at the door of your mind. You're, you're in charge of it right here, guys. Anyway, adios, amigos. Bye-bye.